The world's smallest military tanks exposed. There have been several notable advancements in military technology over time. The development of smallest military tanks was one such outstanding achievement in warfare. They have developed from very simple machines into powerful complex weapons that can withstand the demands of modern combat. Battle tanks are extraordinarily powerful military machines that have the capacity to change the course of a conflict. Welcome to our channel, Military Future. In today's video, we'll look at the PAV-1 Badger, the world's smallest military tank ever built. Today's battle tanks offer the offensive and defensive capabilities of both a super heavy tank and a heavy tank. It has the mobility of the light tank and weighs almost the same as a medium tank. Tanks are powerful and destructive weapons that were initially employed during the Battle of the Somme in World War I. They now rank among the deadliest weapons in the armory of all countries. According to Guinness Book of World Records, the Badger is unquestionably the smallest passenger tank on Earth. It's a one-man all-terrain vehicle that breaches buildings and other fortified positions. It is strong enough to destroy doors, yet can still fit in an elevator. How and How Technologies, the company that specializes in creating and designing armored and military-grade vehicles, created this tank. Mike and Jeff Howe have dedicated their entire careers to developing newer, better and more durable automobiles. They joined others working to create a special forces vehicle that could give good protection. Only a few SWAT teams around the world use the Badger. The Indian security forces are also trying to procure it. They use it to access heavily secured areas where a regular soldier would be ineffective. It was commissioned by the Civil Protection Services, or the CPS, of California, USA. They got in contact with How and How in 2007 about developing a manned, 32-inch wide, track-equipped, bulletproof vehicle for use in the military. After a week of initial design work, H&H &H claims it's possible. The first of its kind prototype, known as the PAV-1 Badger, is created, engineered, manufactured, tested and delivered by How and How. Later in 2012, How and How's PAV-1 Badger is shown in an episode of a TV show, Modern Marvels, titled Tiny Weapons. The Badger can move through all types of terrain, including cross-terrains, urban and suburban terrains. It can even pass through rebar and cinder block walls. With a width of just 32 inches, it's currently the smallest passenger tank in existence and can easily fit through a door. The thickness of the tracked vehicle armor panels allows the driver to be shielded from shelling with firearms and submachine guns, as well as, in some situations, from automatic weapons. The PAV-1 also engages in numerous police activities thanks to these protection measures. And even though it's smaller than a person, this tank can accommodate a single person. The Badger's shape is what makes it so good. The armored plating can deflect big caliber shots and the tiny size facilitates quicker mobility. It's protected by armor from all light weapons, powerful machine guns and smaller explosives. There's a diesel engine in the vehicle's back that can produce about 25 horsepower. It's sufficiently armored to withstand some powerful automatic weapons, as well as tiny bullets. Even when a 50 caliber round was fired, the armor's slope prevented it from penetrating to the inside. A remote controlled turret that's embedded within it can be equipped as a weapon. It's measured to be less than 1 meter, in reality 3 feet and 3 inches in length. The transmission is situated inside the hull. The armored cabin, Badger, is made up of multiple flat metal panels that are joined to one another at the corners. The PAV-1's initial prototypes and production models had a large window as well as glazing in the upper half of the hull. The security firm Civil Protection Services obtained a number of the first Badgers to be created. The training and actual use of these machines is very limited. The PAV 2007 Mini Armored Vehicle was enhanced and modified during the following years. The result was the PAV 1-2, which differed from the original model quite a bit. The body armor has changed, the plate's thickness and shape were slightly altered, and Kevlar lining was added from the inside. 
This allows the upgraded Badger to withstand explosions from grenades or other small explosive devices and shelling. The chassis was also somewhat altered by having one set of road wheels removed. The capacity to install lethal and non-lethal technologies, fighting abilities, were all unchanged. The modified small armoured car was made available in 2009 to 2010, after passing all of the tests it was subjected to. Later, the ultralight PAV-1 and PAV-1.2 armoured vehicles were built in limited batches of several units due to their unique appearance. The Howe brothers found it challenging to construct the tank because of its material's rigidity. There are plenty of other incredible small tanks beside the Badger in the world. So before we go on, hit the subscribe button if you haven't and give us a thumbs up. Starting off first with the Tankette. A Tankette is a tracked armoured fighting vehicle about the size of a car that looks like a miniature tank. It's mainly used for scouting and light infantry support. Tankettes were available in both one- and two-man models, and some were constructed so low that the passenger had to lie on their backs. Secondly, the Weasel AWC. The Weasel Armoured Weapons Carrier, or AWC, manufactured by Rheinmetall, is a light, air-transportable armoured battle vehicle that is only lightly armoured. It's quite similar to the size, form and function of the historical scouting tankettes. The Weasel was created for the German army in order to fulfil a need for a light armoured vehicle that's air transportable for the use of its airborne forces. It was named as such due to its small size and agility, which made it extremely challenging for the enemies to see it on the battlefield. Thirdly, the FV-101 Scorpion. The British FV-101 Scorpion is a light tank and armoured reconnaissance vehicle. It belonged to a family of seven armoured vehicles called the Combat Vehicle Reconnaissance, or the CVR. It was the lead military vehicle and the fire support type, which was constructed by Alvis and entered service with the British Army in 1973 before being discontinued in 1994. Number 4. The Goliath The Goliath was the smallest German remote-controlled unmanned tank. It was loaded with 60 to 100 pounds of explosives with a wire from its back to an enemy position where it detonated. It was not very successful however since the wire was too easily cut by artillery and they were also poorly armoured, making them vulnerable to all weapons except small arms fire. They were built in 1942 and given the pet name The Beatles. At number 5, the British light tank Mark VI. This tank was a British light tank that was produced by Vickers Armstrongs in the late 1930s and also served during the Second World War. This tank was the sixth in line of the light tanks developed by Vickers Armstrongs for the British Army during the interwar period. It was 4 metres long, 5 tonnes in weight and could accommodate 3 crew at a time. At number 6, the M22 Locust. The M22 Locust, also known as the Light Tank M22, was an airborne light tank that was designed in America during World War II. Its construction started in 1941 in response to a request from the British War Office for the American government to create a special airborne light tank that could be taken into battle to support the British airborne soldiers. And lastly at number 7, the Themis UGV. The Tracked Hybrid Modular Infantry System is an unmanned ground vehicle, or UGV, that needs to carry out a large number of military tasks in dangerous or problematic locations. Keeping warfighters at a safe distance from enemy attacks promotes improved safety and operational effectiveness. Technology has always improved the tools of warfare. Do you believe that a tank like the Badger will have an impact on warfare in the modern era? Please do let me know your opinions in the comment section below. That's all for this video, until next time.